I shot a little video earlier this morning just <laughs> talking about grazing in the ice conditions and I referenced my cows and the fill on the side of the cow uh, in terms of how much uh, forage they're getting in. So the poly wire's been dropped, the cows have moved into, I'm not, and I'm actually gonna give them two days worth of feed here today. So uh, just wanna observe <coughs> So with the high residual, that cow is, is going in and she is, is getting underneath and she is grazing kind of a laid over pile. And I mean, this is the second day of January and there's still green coming up out of that pile. See that? Of course, this is uh, fescue. The what reeds canary grass is down in here for a long time, but the fescues after about 20 years is about to get it pushed out unless you really throw the nitrogen to it, which is something else we don't do around here. And you see it. So this cow, I think, is a pretty good example too of what I talked about before. See, she's she's not showing any deficit in her side on the fill at all. So she's in pretty good shape. She's a younger cow. So then you can look at this cow here. She's showing a little more. And then we can look over here. This is another younger cow. And uh, she's not showing any. So uh, these two younger cows are actually some of my uh, first ones I've kept out of uh, the Pharaoh Genetics, Eastern Colorado forage based uh, genetics. And we're just using uh, an Angus bull onto our cows. And these older cows would have been the same thing. I mean, I'm sorry, not the same thing, but they would have been cows that we selected uh, out of our cow herd, just using conventional uh, Angus bulls, locally grown Angus bulls. They're, so they're kind of adapted to our environment, but they're fed at the end of the feed bucket way too much. We'll look here, so that heifers, both those heifers right there are second period bred. Actually, this one is here too. And there's a second calf, a uh, pharaoh genetic cow. And you can see they're all getting along pretty good. Uh, you know, again, let's look down here at this grass, that green grass in there. These cows aren't hungry. I guess that's what I'm getting to. And uh, there's a uh, be her third calf. Kind of a deal there. So, so it is possible, and uh, you're not being cruel to the cattle uh, at all. But you got to be thinking. <laughs> Here comes a younger cow, not out of the, the